In this video, I would like to find the Laurent series for e to the z over z plus 1. So this is an interesting problem. Uh, normally, when you want to find the Laurent series for a function, there's actually a formula that you can use for the uh, coefficients. And in this case, what's interesting about this example is that you can be a little bit more clever than that. Um, so what I want to do, so I notice I have this e to the z. Um, and I have a z plus 1 on the bottom. And these two things don't really match. Um, e to the z over z plus 1. Um, if I could get these two to kind of match each other, then maybe finding the Laurent series from there would be a lot easier. Uh, so that's kind of the idea here. So what I want to do is I want to write e to the z plus 1. And then I want to divide by e. Um, so the value of this expression didn't actually change. Um, I increased the exponent of my e by 1. Uh, but then I also divided by e. So nothing really changed here. Um, but then this is useful because we know the Taylor series for e to the z. OK, this is 1 plus z plus z squared over 2 factorial, and then so on. Um, and so the series for e to the z plus 1 is going to be really similar. It's just going to be 1 plus z plus 1 plus z plus 2 squared over 2 factorial. Uh, maybe I'll write one more, plus z plus, uh, oops, I wrote z plus 2. Okay, this should be z plus 1 plus z plus 1 to the third over 3 factorial, and so on like that. Um, but then notice that I'm, I'm dividing by uh, z plus 1, so if I want my uh, series here to be complete, I also have to divide all of these by z plus 1. So notice I have the z plus 1 here. So I have to divide this by z plus 1, z plus 1, divide this by z plus 1, and so on. And then all of this is being multiplied by 1 over e, like that. OK. Um, and so and then we have a bunch of cancellation that happens. I have z plus 1 over z plus 1, so that's just going to be 1. Um, here I have z plus 1 squared, and then I'm dividing. So this is going to go away. That exponent is going to cancel. Um, for this next term, I have z plus 1. On the top, I have z plus 1 to the third, so that's going to be z plus 1 squared. Um, and then so on. So what this actually ends up being, we have 1 over e times 1 over z plus 1. This is after I canceled everything, so I just have plus 1. Um, and then I have a bunch of powers of z plus 1. And notice that um, whenever I have a power of z plus 1, I'm basically dividing by uh, 1 more than that number factorial. Right, so here I have z plus 1 to the first power after I canceled the, the z plus 1, uh, but I'm dividing by 2 factorial. Um, this is z plus 1 to the second divided by 3 factorial. The next term in this, if I uh, cancel everything out, is going to be z plus 1 to the third divided by uh, 4 factorial, and then so on. And so everything here has the form z plus 1 to the n, and then divided by n plus 1 factorial. Okay. And then this is going from n equals 1 to infinity, uh, because this is z plus 1 to the first power, z plus 1 to the second power, and then so on. Okay. Um, so I have 
this expression. And this actually is the Laurent series for e to the z over z plus 1. And yeah, that's it.